Change is hard, and if you don't fight for it, you can't win. But change can happen. Elizabeth Warren said this in a Facebook post about new laws on paid leave. However, I believe it applies to her whole attitude about her presidential campaign. So why does this matter? Being informed is probably the most important aspect in deciding who to vote for. When I was a senior in high school, I took a mock Senate class in which we had to pick U.S. senators at the time to represent in our classroom setting and argue on different bills. After the debate, we would write up a summary about how our senator would feel about the topic based on research we did about how our senators actually felt about the topic. Based on this experience and the research I've continued to do, I believe that the information I provide can be trusted. Because of the way that her policies relate to and will help Americans, as well as the way she's able to relate to Amer the American people, I believe that Elizabeth Warren is the best choice for president in the 2020 election. Today, I'll be discussing three of her policies and why I believe that they are better for America than those of her opponent, Peter Buttigieg. The first advantage of electing Elizabeth Warren to be president of the United States in the upcoming election is her plans to remake and rebuild the middle class. As the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, the middle class shrink is shrinking and the distribution of wealth is getting more extreme. This means that the middle class needs to be supported and rebuilt. According to her official campaign website, Warren plans to put power back into the hands of the American people by requiring large American companies to allow their workers to elect at least 40% of their company's board. This would give the workers a more powerful voice in matters such as wages and outsourcing. Peter Buttigieg's plan for this middle class does not give them this type of power over their lives. According to IndyStar, his program includes uh, reducing costs in childcare and making housing more affordable. However, these plans come with caps on the income which would make Americans eligible. Warren's plans do not have a cap on who is eligible, therefore giving all Americans an equal opportunity to take advantage of her plans. As this suggests, Warren cares about all Americans and how they'll affect the future of our country. As a result of this, she has a plan that would make higher education more accessible than ever before for all. The second advantage of electing Elizabeth Warren to be president in the 2020 election would be her plan to enact free public higher education for all students, as well as cancel crippling student loan debt for 42 million Americans. Warren's plan to cancel student loan debt would cancel debt for individuals up to $50,000. This would take the burden away from those 42 million Americans and give less privileged Amer American families the opportunity to gain financial control of their lives. Following this, she plans to make tuition free to public universities for all Americans. By doing this, doors would be opened to students who couldn't afford to go to college before, before the same way that they were opened for her many years ago when she attended um, like public university for only $50 a semester. They will give... They will be able to achieve higher education and take advantage of all the opportunities that come with a college education that would not have been available to them before. Alternatively, Buttigieg's plan does not include all American. In an article by the Washington Post, they explain that families that his plan includes reducing tuition for families whose yearly income is between $100,000 and $150,000 and free tuition for those who below this range. However, this plan is less likely to gain support because it excludes those who make above $150,000. In an article from the Los Angeles Times, Michael Hilzik explains that the reason that programs such as Social Security are so successful is because even the top 1% of the population is eligible for them. Excluding the rich from this plan, even if they're less likely to take advantage of it by sending their kids to private universities, decreases the chance of the plan being supported and ultimately put into effect. Not only does she care about young people, Elizabeth Warren wants all of America to feel safe and cared for. The third advantage of electing Elizabeth Warren is that she would reenact former President Obama's Affordable Care Act for All program, which gave an incredible amount of Americans health care when they have not been able to afford it otherwise. According to The Balance, under President Obama, the Affordable Care Act, nicknamed Obamacare, decreased the cost in health care for Americans by making sure that even people with pre-existing conditions could be insured, and by promising insurance companies that they would receive many new clients. To make the care affordable, the government provided subsidies that helped people aff afford their insurance. Warren's plan has a similar end goal. Her plan is called the Medicare for All plan, but the premise is the same. It would provide Americans with a public health care program similar to that of Canada that would reduce insurance price hikes by private companies looking to make money off denying people co coverage. 
CNN called Buttigieg's plan middle of the road, explaining with that that it would have a free public option if people want it, but people could stay with their private insurance if they wish. He argues that this would drive private insurance companies to lower their prices in an effort to keep clients. However, this could lead the public option to be seen as a weaker option and lead many people to not choose it at all, believing private companies will offer them better coverage even if that means paying more. As you can see, the plans that Buttigieg has proposed simply do not match up to those of Elizabeth Warren. Today, we discussed three of Warren's plans versus those of Peter Buttigieg and learned why he doesn't quite match up. We talked about how Elizabeth Warren is much better for the middle class, which many of us are a part of, why her plan for free tuition is more likely to be accepted, and why her plan for free health care for all is better for the American people. And so I leave you with this question. How bright do you want your future to be?